welcome to the 10th season of a Swiga Sports Update. I'm Josh K. A sea of white was magically transformed into a holiday wonderland as the men's and women's ice hockey teams hosted their annual holiday skate to cap off a highly anticipated whiteout weekend. However, today wasn't about the teams. Today was about the kids. Interacting with people is awesome. I mean, you get to see all the little kids that you see at the games just finally come out and how their eyes light up just meeting like the Lakers and seeing Santa and everything. I mean, it makes what we do. The holiday skate, which is a staple in the Oswego community, is something that both teams look forward to every year. Uh, you know, this isn't so much as a hassle or a job. We enjoy coming to do it and we all have fun. So just, just the character of the team, I guess, everyone likes it. So. The biggest thing that they stress is being involved with the community, having a sense of community and having a sense of, you know what, we do more than just play hockey. So right behind me in this big arena, right after whiteout, the dust is settled, but hey, the holiday spirit is still in action. I think everybody still loves coming out here and seeing the kids. The skate, which even featured Santa, brings in nearly $800 per year and donates all the money to SAFA and the United Way. In the Campus Center Ice Arena, Josh K, Oswego Now. Well, perfection, something only achieved by a select few teams in sports history. The 1972 Dolphins were perfect all the way through the Super Bowl. The UCLA Bruins men's basketball team went undefeated in four separate seasons. Even the South Australian Football League can boast a team with an undefeated season. Port Adelaide went 18-0 in 1914. The Princeton women's basketball team was trying to achieve that feat through the NCAA tournament. Let's roll that highlight. The Tigers 31-0 coming into the second round against the number one seed Maryland Terps. End of the first half, we'll take it with Shatori Walker-Kimbling. Yeah, she hits that one. Buckets, 20-footer. It was close. There's a four-point lead at the half. Coming back now, it was all Maryland in the second half. As they went on to a 20-4 run to end the second half, beating Princeton by 15. Maryland on the season will head to the regional semi-finals that will be held next weekend. Princeton finishes their season 30-1. and one. Now on to the other New York team. The Mets hoping this year would be different for the Amazons to get back to the postseason for the first time since the 06 days with Carlos Beltran. Bryce Harper, he's doing the Dan Angular Risk Curl program. Solo shot there in the bottom of the fourth. Washington up. Take a look at this one. Now, Max Scherzer had retired 15 in a row. Walks Curtis Granderson. A routine pop-up for David Wright. Dan Uglo over there. He's got it. He's got it. Uh, uh, Ian Desmond lets that ball drop. Runners on second and third for the error there. Ian Desmond not on the Dan Uglo risk roll program at the beginning of the season. Lucas Duda next batter will make them pay. He slaps the single to right field. Two runs will score. Mets will hang on to win this one 3-1. to one. The Mets have the strange stat here, the best record for an MLB team on opening day in their program history. Well, that's all for sports. Now back over to the desk with Mike Kaufman. For the second straight year, the Oswego State men's baseball team will be the number two seed in the SUNY playoffs. After getting swept by Portland in the season series, the Red Dragons locked up the number one seed and home field advantage throughout the playoffs. The Lakers will take on Brockport in the first game of a double elimination tournament that gets underway on Friday. I think they're going to have to win the tournament. And we talked about it all season long. We weren't surprised with the pitching staff because we knew who they brought in last year and who they retained. They were going to be fine. The offense was the question mark and the entire season it has been there. But against Cortland, it's a different story. Now it's all going to come down to the pitching rotations. It's going to be Karinczak, Cronin, or Kelly pitching in games one, two, and three. It's double elimination, so you have to plan for that. I think the Lakers are up to the test. I mean, it's been Portland and us, we go one, two, hand-in-hand hand all season long, 
So I expect um, after our last win against Hamilton, it feels really good to come off a three-game winning streak, and things are looking good. All right, you personally have a 97 or .978 save percentage. Um, I don't play any hockey, but I think that's that's pretty dang good. <laughs> um, how do you feel about your play so far? Chandler Parsons. I mean, mistakes? Any of them? I just caught one for Daniel here. He said Adam Ray Wright towards ACL is actually his Achilles. Oh, oh, oh. That's a rough move, my bad. And still, still, bad, still, still, still talked about it earlier, too. <laughs> still in the sure. leg, though, so anytime you have to either push off or you have to land, that's going to be uh, a problem. Uh, Amin also messed up. He called one of our guests his own name. Uh, he yes. thinks he's interviewing himself sometimes, maybe. Uh, Dan, what are you watching this video? Oh, well, obviously the basketball games. I'm really intrigued by this Rangers uh, Capitals series. Yep. Capitals played well tonight, shutting, um, you know, playing, playing a big game there. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm going to watch NBA. I'm going to watch some NHL as well. Seattle Sounders, giving the Sounders yeah. some love. They're in action again this week in MLS. Clint Dempsey, that yes. is the way to go. All right, well, that's what time we got for this episode of A Week of Sports Update. We'll try to do better next time. Tune in again next week for the season finale of OSU and, of course, more of the best A Week of Sports banter around. Until then, for Josh Kane and Ian Smith, special thanks to our athletes of the week, Amanda Perry and Brian Wisely, our director, Brian Ruderman, and everyone here at OSU. I'm Dan North. Have a great night. Go Lakers!